We need to talk about pink sauce and why a lot of people are concerned for the people that have bought this sauce from the lady that makes it on TikTok because the hue of the sauce keeps changing. Every photo, every video, the sauce color looks different. And also she doesn't describe what it actually tastes like. I don't know if it is to promote it, get people to buy it just to see what it tastes like, but she will not describe the taste. She says it's because she cannot describe the taste. I've been hearing it kind of tastes like ranch. Okay, so pink sauce has taken over and now concerns about pink sauce are taking over. If you've been on TikTok, Instagram reels and those sorts of things, you've probably seen people slathering various types of food, especially fried chicken with what looks like thicker Pepto-Bismol. And it is actually being offered for sale. It started with uh, Veronica Shaw, apparently, Chef P, I believe. Um, came up with this sauce. It's really a condiment, although you know, blurred lines when it comes to those two things. Um, has actually been doing this for a bit since early June, and uh, now it's actually for sale. Twenty dollars a bottle. There's some small issues, like the the fact that it says that there's 444 servings in it, which is I, I don't think technically true, and apparently it has to do with the fact that Veronica Shaw is really into what are called angel numbers. Which I get it, that's a cool interest to have. I don't see why it has to be a part of your nutritional facts. But um, so people are a little bit worried about the safety of this stuff being shipped around. Um, I'm not ready to advance to that level of concern though. I, I just wanna start with the look of it. I eat a lot of artificial stuff, I admit that. You can look at the damage that it's done. But even for me, that looks real artificial. That looks like that looks like something they would give you, like give your physical form as you're strapped into the matrix. You just have that goop like put into your body. Sabrina, what do you think? That's the thing. The fact that she's putting this unappetizing looking pink sauce on savory food, it just it doesn't even look appealing. So I don't understand why it got so popular or what I don't understand why everybody else wants to Wait, eat it. You like, don't understand why it's I mean, yeah, I look at it, that draws the eye. I understand why it's popular. I don't understand why other people want to eat it because the only thing that we hear uh, that we've been hearing talked about is the color and the potential safety of the actual food as to like whether you can even eat it. But nobody even really, really talked them like she doesn't talk that much about like how her pink sauce tastes. You just see her putting it on mm. stuff. And I guess like if you look at the ingredients, like the yogurt and the mayo and whatnot, like it looks like it's like a ranchy kind of type thing. But it's like yeah. that appealing. I'm I'm definitely more concerned with the food safety. You know, she's shipping these out. Um, it's been pretty hot lately this summer. Yeah. Um, I don't want to eat that. <laughs> I'm a I'm a little bit worried uh, about that part of it. But other than that, I don't want people to think that I'm necessarily a hater. Maybe about the safety stuff. So you know, get that locked down and make sure that people aren't getting sick or whatever. But I, I respect uh, turning something so quickly from a viral hit into a business. Um, I respect the business plan. If you can have your product look like it's one thing, but it's actually ranch, I think in America that's a pretty good way to go. And not just for sauces, honestly. If you're selling like gaming chairs and stuff, just have it be ranch. Americans love ranch, they'll pay for it. Um, and I have to admit, although I have not tried the pink sauce, I have not been immune to participating in some of these viral food trends that might on their surface seem disgusting. I did a couple of years ago make a pizza and eat it. I don't know. Have you ever had a pizza? Do you know what a pizza is? A, a pizza? Like, like the <laughs> Easter peeps? On a pizza. It was going around. It was the pink sauce. And actually, it kind of makes pink sauce on top of the pizza if you leave it in the oven too long. But it's a pizza covered in peeps. And you know what it was? But Pretty good. It's no! Actually it was That's, pretty good, honestly. It was better than Peeps or Pizza alone. So take the debate back to pineapple. I liked it better when that was the debate <laughs> and you could just shrug it off. But Peeps? This is, this is America. Anyway, I mean, <laughs> just get your get your safety stuff in order and, and then we'll be okay. But if she wants to make money off of it, uh, people have made worse money off of doing worse stuff on TikTok and Instagram. For more political news breakdowns, interviews, stories of activism, and me trying my hardest to care about the occasional big celebrity news story, subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash the damage report. And you can ring the bell 
wherever it is so you don't miss anything.